Hey guys, WCW Bossman here. And I just watched a video from a man called Michael Young who runs the People's Wrestling Channel. And he did a video that I agree with mostly all of his points in most of the ways that they were said. But there's a few things that I want to touch on that I don't wholeheartedly agree with. Now, the main point of his video was no sympathy for dead wrestlers. And granted, I had sympathy for those wrestlers who died young that died of accidents, car-wise, or stabbings, or shootings, or whatever. But, like him, I don't have sympathy for wrestlers who died because of their own hand. Because of taking either too many pain pills, or, you know, having issues with steroids, the list goes on and on, but he made a comment where he said that he agreed with the fact that WWE basically wiped Chris Benoit off their record books because of what he did to his wife and son. Which, if it was just on that merit alone, I would agree. But, Chris Benoit was one of the best wrestlers, if not the best wrestler of his era. He loved his craft, he believed in it, and he did his best to be the best at it. And even though he did a horrible thing by killing Nancy and Daniel, you know, I believe that he shouldn't be expunged from the record books of WWE and wrestling as a whole. I believe he should still be allowed in there, however, have an asterisk, asterisk by his name saying, you know, this man was a great wrestler, a great performer, one of the best of his time, but he did this horrible act that, you know, we don't approve of, you know. I think that should be set forth, you know. But as a promoter now, I just want to mention that in my personal life, because of my disability cerebral palsy, I've taken medically necessary steroids. I do currently take non-narcotic pain medication, but as a promoter, I do not agree with any wrestler taking steroids or prescription pain medication for recreational use or used to get an edge on the competition. I believe that if you're truly a person that believes in his talents and abilities and works hard every day at their craft of being a wrestler 
that one day you will be noticed, whether it be 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, and your contributions will be noted. I don't believe in taking steroids, and I don't allow any performers that have a history of steroid use to wrestle within my company. Now, if you have a medical reason and medical documentation to take medications and steroids, I'm all for that. But I have to see proper medical documentation. And as far as the meds go, I only agree with taking the proper prescribed dose of medication, not only for myself, obviously, but for my talents. And if they don't do that, they don't work for me. So in that sense, I agree with you. But like I said, I don't agree that Chris Benoit should be totally expunged, and I have to, in good conscience and having respect for the family of a wrestler that you mentioned, I have to finally come to the defense of Eddie Umaga Fatu because Mr. Fatu. Yes, he died, and he died with amounts of painkiller and steroids in his system, apparently. But he took those under prescribed dosages. He was a good man and a good wrestler. Therefore, I have to defend him. And believe that he should not be lumped in with these wrestlers that died with reckless means that caused the demise. Eddie Omega Fatu died because of an accident. Because the meds he took caused damage to his body and cause his heart attack. But, like I said, I have to defend him on that. But, as far as Michael Young's channel, subscribe to it. I like this guy. His points are valid. And if there's anything else I want to discuss about his videos, I'll discuss it with my own vids. And I'll catch y'all next time.